Hey guys, I have rebranded my TikTok. Um, the TikTok is now called the TikTok Bayless. Um, I will leave the uh, link or I will leave the actual TikTok picture, like what my TikTok is in the video itself. So after you see the video, um, after you see this little part of the video, because I'm going to put the the little QR code that has the TikTok in it. And then I'm also going to share my first three sports takes videos because I've done three already. It's going to basically what my new TikTok is. It's the hottest and best sports takes on all of TikTok. That's right. It's coming from me, the sports expert. So everybody go and follow the TikTok Bayless on TikTok. So I feel like it's only right that my first, um, what's it called, uh, video, my first sports take is about um, Russell Westbrook and Stephen Curry. Russell Westbrook, uh, for those of you that don't know, just hit 182 career triple doubles, which is the most all time, which makes him the triple double king. Now I'm going to say this, there is nothing and I mean absolutely nothing Stephen Curry can do at this point to pass Russell Westbrook all time. Yeah, they both have the same number of finals MVPs. They both have, well, Steph has one more MVP, but Russell Westbrook's never been carried. Steph Curry has. Steph Curry puts up points, that's it. Russell Westbrook does everything else. I have another sports take, one that might be controversial, but uh, here's one that I have been feeling for years. There are so many quarterbacks that don't deserve the Hall of Fame, like Terry Bradshaw, Joe Montana. But there is one quarterback in particular who everybody thinks will make the Hall of Fame that should not be in the Hall of Fame, and that is Drew Brees. Drew Brees, for his career, is... 10 and 10 in the playoffs. 10 and 10. This man misses the playoffs more than he makes the playoffs. He is a stat patter, but nobody seems to care because he's a nice guy. Guess what? Nice guys don't win everything. Look at Tom Brady. Man has seven Super Bowls. Biggest jackass in the world. One last sports take for the day. Uh, it looks like the Jazz and the Suns are going to clinch the one and the two seeds in the West. Those two are by far the weakest one and two seeds sports has ever seen. They Neither of them have a an actual superstar. So that's already a downside for them. They will either have to face the Mavericks or the Lakers, and I'm not sure either one of them could beat either one of those teams. If a team has Chris Paul, they automatically say, they're automatically telling teams, we do not want to win a championship. When's the last time a team has won a championship without a superstar or had a team that had Chris Paul on it? It's never happened. Actually, yeah.